Hello there, I'm Roger Webb and welcome to this CAVCO tutorial on the bitmap to vector tool. Now this particular tool in CAVCO Maker Plus, any of the CAVCO products will do this, is located up in this top corner and what we're going to do is take a lined drawing of a Japanese young lady and we're going to convert that into vector lines to be used in a V-bit carving or in my case for further processing in a laser program to be cut with a laser. So I'll jump into screen capture so you can see that much better. Okay so here we are in Kafka Maker Plus and here is the bitmap to vector tool. So what I'm going to do, this is the easiest way I have found to bring anything into CAVCO. And this is our work of art here. So we just left click and drag and drop it into CAVCO. And there it is. Um, so is rather big at the moment so we're going to make the height uh, let me see we're going to make the actually we'll do it with the, we'll alter the width the aspect ratio will stay the same this will automatically change when I choose a width which is 290 my material that I want to work with is 350 so it's just give me a little bit of a border. Uh, we don't need to fill the Z in. We're just dealing with uh, a lined drawing graphic here. So we're not uh, actually working with a 3D product as such. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go full screen. Now that looks a little grey. And the reason for that is, is because we're actually in the 3D window. So we're going to now go to the 2D window, which is just here, this tag, top left hand corner, press it. And you see the, the picture comes up a lot crisper and black and white. Well, what we perceive to be black and white, and you would think there was just two colours there, but there's not. There's actually 255 colours in here. So we need to reduce that to allow CAVCO to be able to have a colour to draw around. So to carry that process out is all in the bitmap to, to vector wizard. So we'll just open that. And this is the bitmap to vector wizard. And the first section here is reduce colours. So we open that and you can see that originally there was 255 colors, different shades of black, gray and white as depicted in the boxes down below here. Uh, it's automatically brought it down to 32 which is this many boxes here uh, but we're going to use the slider bar to bring it down to well as many as we can get down without losing the clarity in the picture um, I'm going to leave it at 4 and um, if you notice it's reduced the boxes down this bottom lower level here so I'm going to apply that but Kavko is still going to be a little confused with having four different colours here. It needs two colours. So what I'm going to do is we want to be left with black and white. So what I'm going to do is join these two greys into the black. So any of those grey colours that are in here will actually turn to black. So I left click on one, bring it, drop it into there and you can see it, a bar appears across bridging those two 
same here, enter the, that one. So now those are grouped together as a black colour. So now we don't lose too much clarity. So we need two colours uh, for Cavco to distinguish. So that part of it's finished. Uh, this section here we don't need to do anything with at all. Uh, just a little bit of explanation about um, speckle size and smoothness. So if I zoom in to an area, oh there's a pixel there, but let's see if there's any single pixel, yes one there. Okay, so you can see there's a single pixel there this whole picture, everything, every picture is made of pixels. Um, so, you know, it's a digital picture. So, there's one pixel, there's two pixels together. So, what speckle size is actually indicating is it's telling the program, Kavco, ignore anything that is two pixels or less. In other words, don't draw around them. Otherwise, it you know it just makes it a little bitty. There's no need for ha to have those there. Now the smoothness. If you notice, this is very pixelated and jagged. If you reduce this, Kavka will try and virtually trace around each individually in individual pixel and if you take it too far up towards a hundred percent it becomes too rounded or smooth then 75 percent is about perfect I have never had to change it in more than 10 years so it's pretty right primary color black which is indicated down here where it's overlaid on the white. So what we're saying there with Cavco is we want you to trace around the black colour. Okay? So we'll come back out. Uh, and incidentally what I'm doing here is I've just got the scroll wheel on my mouse and I'm just scrolling one way or the other. Now if I wanted to move this picture around bodily I just hover anywhere on the picture and press left and right mouse key together and now I can bodily move it around. Okay. So let's put that central in the screen and press create vectors. And there they are. Job's done. So we can come out of that. This is now ready for to make a a, a V-bit carving toolpath, or as we are going to do is export the vectors for a laser program. Um, incidentally. You can see, still see black here. Sometimes that does get in the way of what you want to see when you're viewing the vectors. If you catch hold of this slider bar and slide it down, this is like the contrast control on your TV. So you can you can take the black right out and just be left with the vectors, which is okay. We'll do that or not, whichever the case may be. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to export the vectors in relation to uh, a laser. So we come up here to vectors, export, uh, now I'm just going to label this something so we know what it is. So I'm just going to export this to my desktop. So I'm going to say uh, 
Now then, laser programs sometimes will not understand an SVG file. So within Kavco, you have the opportunity to you, uh, ex export it as a DXF AutoCAD file, which laser programs do understand. So it's just the language that uh, lasers use, and we're going to apply that. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, fairly short CAVCO tutorial using the bitmap to vector tool, in this case for a laser job. So please, if you've liked this video, press like and subscribe. Below this video, in the video description area, you will see a 5% discount code for the CAVCO products any of the calf coal products. So thank you for watching and it's bye for now.